We're here uh, with a lovely and talented Jamie Foxx. Jamie, uh, what's, what's a day in the life of Jamie Foxx? What's it like in the foxhole? What's it? <laughs> a, there are no atheists in the foxhole. But, there are but, no atheists in the foxhole. So what's it like? Well, who are you hanging out with? Are you hanging out with Diddy? Hang... Are you, what are you doing? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I, you know what's crazy? I used to follow Diddy back in the day when Diddy, when Diddy had all of the, 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 the songs out. Yeah. He was so famous, we couldn't get into our own clubs in L.A. Like, we go in the club, you'll get... Well, like, you, you go with him? No, he would come from New York to L.A. He oh, opened, I see. And I couldn't even get in the club because he was so famous. And not right now, Fox Diddy in here. So one day, I, <laughs> one day I, I flipped it on him and showed up in a town... It was town car days. I had a town car. Popped out the town car with a camera. Said, yo, Puff, yo, you got to let me film this. The whole thing, we need to document this, Playboy. He was like... Uh, yo, let him through. And I'm like, all right, I'm through. <laughs> and I had the big Canon camera. It wasn't like this. Sure, yeah. Little cell. I had the big yeah. Canon camera with the light and the battery. Yo, do that again, Puff. And so I started hanging out with Puff, like, back in the day. And I know this story don't make sense, but it's going to make sense. <laughs> I would hang out and watch him throw parties. Sure, he right? famously threw his, like, his... It was white party out. Well, he would throw yeah. a party. One point, I went to Philly, followed him all the way to Philly. He threw a party, and he said, yo, Playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars. To throw. I'm like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> and I said, Puff, I'll throw you a party for 400 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh -huh. <laughs> that will rival this party. Mm -hmm. And he got pissed at me. He said, yo, don't play, don't play, don't play with me on your ass. I'm titty, you know what I'm saying? I said, no, I'm, I'm not. I, I respect you. But in L.A., I, I'm known for throwing, like, these cool little parties. So he came to L.A. in my modest little home. Um, he showed up. Well, he called, like, Saturday morning. Yo, Playboy, I'm in town. Make it happen. I said, cool. So I went into my little phones, sure. called about 200 of the coolest people. They all came to my house. Puff showed up with, you know, SUVs and FBI. It was just, you know, it was crazy. <laughs> and, you know, because it was, you know, it was all, Puff was always sort of dangerous, you know, so he had all kinds of people yeah. following so he gets out and he comes in my house and he looks, he said, oh, that's the girl on that show and that's the guy on that show. And I said, yeah, we're all, we're all friends. We all hang out. He said, oh, man, this is great. And I said, yeah, but Puff, look over there on, on, on the dinner table. I got Kentucky Fried Chicken. I put it, I put it in a nice plate. I said, I got Coca-Cola. I put it in a pitcher. We're at 208 bucks and we are killing it right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> True story. Right. True story. True, true story. But here's what's crazy. The people at the party, Puff at that time had a room. Missy Elliott had a room. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm saying? Dun, 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 dun. And standing on the wall, nobody knew who he was. Guess who it was? It was Jay-Z. Oh. Standing on the They didn't know who he was yet. And I, was like, and I saw him. What's up, man? He said, that's a nice party, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> He should be yeah, Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> not, it's a nice party, right? Really, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? Right? I gotta put that in my act. I'm doing these things. And so then I go in my garage where I have my little stash for my little alcohol, you know, because yeah. I have my stash, you know, where I put it in a nice, you know, picture or whatever craft or whatever yeah. I put. And so as I'm coming through, it was a tall dude and a short guy. And the short guy goes, he goes, yo, yo, B, it's like this all the time, B. Like, you know, karaoke and people dancing and singing. I said, yeah, who are you? With the Neptunes. My name is Pharrell. Right? Wow. At that party, somebody walked in, jaw a little busted, backpack on. Who was it? Kanye West. Wow, did you know him? Right. No, I didn't know. No, everybody was just coming up. They said, yo, there go the next dude. I said, who? Kanye West. I said, what kind of name is Kanye? He said, <laughs> you know, it didn't, it, it, yeah, at the time, it didn't make sense. Then when I met him, bro, he freestyled. A rap. I said, yo, they, they say you rap. He freestyle. I said, oh, my God, you're the most incredible rapper in the world. And I was trying to get in music at that time, so I would throw parties for a reason, because Puff was so famous with music. I had a studio in my house. And uh, uh, Kanye goes, uh, thank you, uh, but I, I got a song, Dad. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at, I, I got look. four guests tonight. Yeah, I think I have four <laughs> guests tonight. <laughs> K K Kanye goes, uh, I, I got a song, Dad, Dad, I think you'll be good on. So I think you'll be good on that song. I said, cool, I got a studio in the back, let's hook it up. So I go in the back of the studio and he sings a song. He says, she says she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little... And I said, wait a minute, I got it. 
She said she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Bay. He said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, well, I'm an R&B singer too, bro, so I got to, you know, put the R&B thing on that. And this one, I knew Kanye was in control of everything. He says, uh, don't do that. Just sing the song regular, right? We'll be good. So in my mind, I'm thinking, like, this song is whack. He ain't going to make it. I begrudgingly sing the song, went off and did a bad movie for, like, eight weeks, came back. And when I came back, the song was number one in the country. So that's the end of the story. Look, look. Well, that leads, that, that's right away. Okay, look, so you got, you got, uh, uh, you want a Grammy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. You won a Grammy for uh, 2009 for Blame It, best yeah. R&B performance. Blame It. Oh. Uh, you were nominated for uh, uh, Intuition, Love Changes, Unpredictable, yeah. Creepin', uh. and and you were nominated uh, for Slow Jams. Ah. Uh. See. <laughs> Twista, Feet, Kanye, and <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Um, okay. What's it like to you? You've, you've featured. You've yeah. feet yeah, yeah. on a lot of songs. Feet. I do. How do you get into that game? Because I would like to feet. You like, uh, <laughs> I would like to feet. Hey man, you know feet. What you Stephen Steve, Colbert, or Steve just Col even just woo Stephen Colbert. <laughs> <laughs> how do you, how Bro, do you feed? Anything, You want to really know the real secret? Yes. You have to barge into people's studios. Like, like Kanye, okay, we do Ray Charles. Eh, you know what, eh, eh, we do that. After she we do it, eh, 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 yeah, yeah, but that's, yeah. watch how this happens. Yes. So Kanye, after Ray Charles comes out, does Gold Digger, but I'm not on it. My boy called me, his name is Breon, he says everything three times. Yo, wake your ass up, wake your ass up, wake your ass up. <laughs> it's three in the morning, he said, Kanye got a missile down here. You gotta get to the studio. So I'm like, cool. So at three in the morning, I go down to the studio. He says, follow my lead when we go in here. I said, why? Follow my lead. So I hear the song. Dunk, 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 dunk. Now, I ain't saying she a gold digger. And I'm like, ooh, that's hot. My boy go, no, it ain't. Turns it off. He said, that's whack. He said, that's whack. That's whack unless you put Fox on it. And I'm like, what are you doing? He said, he said, you, he said go, in the, go in the booth right now. So I go in the booth. He takes over the session. He takes over, all right, Fox, let's, let's work on it. I'm like, okay, run it back. Run it back. And it was a, can run it back? And then about an hour and a half later, she take my money. <laughs> well, I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. <laughs> Way of a child that digs on me. Ah! Come on, man. <laughs> that's, how, that's, that's how you do it. I just have to, okay. I just, so, have to, I just have to, like, absolutely cold step somebody's studio at 3 o'clock in the morning. Damn right. We're going to find out where Migos is or Cardi B. Oh, and we're going to have out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. We're going to take a little break. We'll be right back with more Jamie Foxx and a special guest. A little surprise for you. Stick around.